Topping the news at 5.30, will the driver in a hit and run in South Buffalo face criminal charges? Some people believe her family connection with police could shield her from legal troubles. Senior correspondent Rich Newberg is on this story tonight. Rich? Well, Don D.A. Frank Sedita says the facts in this case and not family connections will determine whether criminal charges are filed. And he is cautioning the public not to jump to conclusions. Some of the video ahead is quite disturbing. When you look at the video, you say, well, open shut. Well, that's not what the law says. The video, if you watch the upper screen, shows 59-year-old Anna Grady crossing Seneca Street and then being hit and thrown 20 to 30 feet in the air. The car then keeps going. Oh, I scream. Witnesses were outraged when the driver, 68-year-old Josephine Zanoski, the mother of a town of Tonawanda police officer, left the scene. Ooh, also wow, outraged, wow. the husband of Anna wow. Grady, why the victim. He, you watch her coming towards her, and why didn't she swerve? I mean, it's like she made it from one side of the street to the other right before she stepped up in the curb and she got hit. Erie County DA Frank Sedita says it still could be weeks before he decides what to do with this case. Buffalo police have Zanoski's car, found about 10 blocks from the scene a short time after the hit and run. She had contacted authorities, but it is still not known when she made that contact, and that's a critical part of the case. There are also other considerations that will determine if criminal charges are filed. What was the condition of the driver at the time uh, of the accident? And number two, what was the behavior of the driver? immediately after or promptly after the accident. Buffalo police investigators did not give Josephine Zanoski a blood test. They said there were no indications of impairment or alcohol involvement, but a lot may hinge now on when the accident was phoned in. That's a very important facet of it, yes. Buffalo police say the victim, Anna Grady, was walking against the light. Her husband believes she was in full view of the driver. Some good news tonight, she is out of ECMC now and in rehab. Reporting live, Rich Newberg, News 4 at 530.